we've been studying the effects of ocean acidification on marine resources here in California. Um, as carbon dioxide is increasing in the atmosphere, it's, um, some of that is also getting absorbed in the oceans, and that's making the oceans more acidic. And what we're interested in is how that increased acidity of the oceans might influence marine organisms that live in the oceans. And so organisms that produce a shell, things like abalone, mussels, clams, and also oysters, are particularly vulnerable to ocean acidification because the more acidic waters um, can actually erode their shells and it also makes it more difficult for them to produce their shells. So we started out this morning at about 4.30. We met at the Tamales Bay Oyster Company and we went out into the field and collected uh, oysters. And so we were able to go out there on the racks and pull off native oysters. The oyster we're studying is the Olympia oyster. Um, it's native to bays and estuaries along the California coast and other parts of the Pacific coast. And um, we went out, we collected about 300 oysters this morning and brought them back here to Bodega Marine Lab. We then took those oysters and cleaned them off, so if they had any barnacles or other organisms on them, we've cleaned the shells. And now what we're doing is putting those oysters into these large cylinders and waiting for those oysters to release their early life stages. So we're particularly interested in the effects of ocean acidification on the larvae and juvenile, these, these early life stages of the oysters. And so um, once the oysters release those early life stages, we take them and we put them in jars, ace them here at Bodega Marine Lab under different carbon dioxide concentrations. So we're comparing how these effects of carbon dioxide, this increased ocean acidification, might impact the ability of these early life stages to produce shells.